everybody. Um, recently I've uh, come to the realization that I need to break down uh, my two finger picking style in, in more detail. So I'm going to try to do that here and I thought a good way to, to at least start out is to get a piece of paper out and I've listed down to the best that I can basically every uh, basic technique that I use when two finger picking. Um, so um, we've already done an intro to two finger picking. I'll link to that here toward the, the end of this video. That'll pop up somewhere and you'll be able to click on that if you want to familiarize yourself with more of the basics. So this is going to be a little bit more advanced for you guys that are, that are already two finger picking probably. But anyhow, so let's jump right into it. Uh, I explained in the other video that the way that I, I actually, um, you know, my introduction to folk banjo was uh, sort of developing my own two finger picking style because I couldn't figure out overhand or what's known as claw hammer. Um, so I started two finger picking and, and I originally started out doing three finger scrugs picking with finger picks and a scrugs manual. But uh, I've explained before I quickly lost interest in that and I, I found the two finger a lot better for me. So the, the, my two finger picking is basically the same rhythm and the same basic pattern as um, what a lot of you are already using to play claw hammer. Um, so you guys are familiar with the bum ditty, uh, what I like to call a boom chicka or a chicka boom, but a bum ditty and that's, and, you know, so that's, that's the one basic rhythm that you're going to use all the time when you're doing this two finger picking and a lot of people call it thumb lead picking because you often do lead off with your thumb. But you'll see me, um, I use my thumb to handle the bass string and the third string and of course the fifth string. My index finger handles the second string and the first string, almost always. Um, my thumb will come down if it needs to and drop thumb. It will drop thumb that second string, but I don't think I ever drop thumb onto the first string. It's a little bit odd, so I don't ever do that. I would accomplish that by doing something with my left hand, probably. I was going to do that. So the basic lick is just the same as your standard overhand lick, the bum diddy boom chicka chicka boom lick. So that's the first that's the first, you know, component of my two finger picking. can see that okay there. Let me run through that one more time. So that's the basic bum ditty pattern you should all be familiar with. That is the same as if I was doing overhand. Same thing. Notice when I get up to the second and first string, my index finger usually handles both the first and second string, and I leave the, the fifth, fourth, and third to my thumb. So you've got that. And the other thing that you'll see me do a lot is what I, I call the two count um, rhythm, two count lick. And that's where I, I do a heavy emphasis where I'm, I'm picking out the melody with my thumb, and I am. I will pluck up, pick up on the first and second strings simultaneously with my first string. So it sounds something like this. you guys saw that there. That's pretty simple. That's just same thing. And I developed that very early on because listening to Doc Boggs um, albums, Doc Boggs uses a three finger style and he'll do something like he uses his, his middle and his index finger often to pluck those two strings. 
simultaneously, but since I have never been good at using three fingers, I'm a two finger picker, I was able to I emulate that Doc Bog sound by picking up with just one finger on both of those strings. I call that the two count rhythm. So that's pretty simple. Um, the other thing we can call a three count rhythm. A, a waltz timing is when I play waltz songs. So, um, and then I'll often, you don't have to do it this way, but I'll often pick down with my thumb. I'll pick out the entire melody of the waltz with my thumb and I'm brushing down with my, in, with my fingers and coming off on the thumb. So that goes something like this. simplify that by not even involving your, your thumb you can, in, in the fifth string. You can just do... And I count that as part of my two finger picking because when I'm in, in my waltz songs in between I'll two finger pick and you don't have to do the, the down stroke brush. You can accomplish that same sound with what we learned in the two, the two count rhythm where you're plucking up on those two strings at the same time, something like this. So that's why I choose to include it in, in the two finger stuff. It is another element that can really spice up your two finger picking and don't if you hear a waltz, a lot of people think, oh, you can't play a waltz on a five-string banjo. I've actually heard people say that, but you can. It's very easy. You just have to come up with, just start out real simple, you know? Very simple. And then if you want to get more jazzy with it, That's the, with the waltz or the three count rhythm. Now I can show you my drop thumb lick on this. It's the same as you would do overhead. It's the same as an overhand drop thumb, but you're doing it two finger style. It's just, it's just the same, unless you wanted to do like this. drop thumbs, you'd go. It's the same as the claw hammer drop thumb, it's just you're accomplishing that same rhythm with two fingers. open up a song like Pretty Polly, I will um, I'll just do a repetitive, long, drawn-out drop thumb. Basically all I'm doing there is but adding a drop thumb. show you guys I mean, if you're not using a, what I call a pinch that's basically you take your thumb and your index finger pluck those outer strings at one time a pinch that's an important element in a lot of people's two finger picking Roscoe Holcomb comes to mind he employed a lot of this he would do a drop kind of a drop thumb lick and end out each one with a pinch and it gives this kind of chick chick boom chick chick boom kind of rhythm I can try to accomplish it He's 
kind of doing a little drop thummy thing there and then pinching. So. basically want to show that's pretty advanced I just want to show you guys the pinch I mean that's something you can work in that sounds cool just that that's real simple so that's what I call a pinch um, then I can show you guys what I call a double note you see me do a lot of double notes that's where I do a, a hammer on and a hammer, a pull off, and a hammer on in quick succession on the same string to accomplish this sound. All I'm doing is. George Gibson does a ton of double notes like that. So that's a double note. So that's easy. And uh, one more thing I want to show you is you can incorporate some down picking technique into this, what I'm going to call the, the four finger brush. Uh, but with the two finger. Okay guys, we're about out of time for this, um, but thanks for watching and let me know what you think of that if you want to see any more and uh, yeah, take care. You'll see me soon.